Hi there and welcome to the channel. Today I'm reviewing one of the most anticipated and hyped up releases of this year. It's the world's fastest 52 card single pocket index. Dex by Javier Fuenmayer and Lloyd Barnes. This will open up a completely new dimension to all of your magic as it'll allow you to retrieve instantly in under five seconds, literally any card. To begin with, I'm going to do a quick performance of one of my favorite routines of decks. To begin with, I have a folded up playing card here. It's my prediction and it goes on the table or in my spectator's hands. I then have them name any card, but since I don't have a spectator, we'll just use a deck of cards. And let's go to a random card, in this case, the Jack of Spades. It really can be a free choice. And then I'd say, is there any reason that you chose to go for the Jack of Spades? Typically, they'll say, no, I don't know why I went for the Jack of Spades. And then I say, it's because you were psychologically influenced. You know how I told you I had a prediction on the table the whole time. Let's unfold the prediction and look at it. The Jack of Spades, their named card. That's one of my favorite routines with decks. So let's get right into the review. I hope you enjoyed that performance. There's so many possibilities with decks. First off, I would like to say a huge thank you to Lloyd Barnes and Javier Fuenmayer for sending me a copy of decks early in order to review for you guys. Uh, I really love their work. And if you don't know who they are, Lloyd and Javier do some amazing work for Murphy's Magic and Amazing Magic on YouTube. I'll link their channels in the description down below. Uh, they're incredible. I really suggest checking them out. The thing is, even though this product was provided to me for free to review, I promise this will be an unbiased magic review. If I love decks, I will say that. If I hate decks, I will say that. But I wanted to let all magic distributors or creators know if you'd like me to review your product, please contact me at bfanmail at gmail.com. I also do free magic monthly giveaways and all you have to do to be eligible is subscribe to the channel. For the month of September, I am giving away royalty by Gordon Bean. All you have to do to be eligible is go to my review of Perfect Oil and Water by Eric Casey and John Michael Hinton, like that video, comment on it, Lucky Bean, and subscribe to the channel. That's all you have to do to be eligible. Without further ado, let's get right into the review of Dex. What do you get? with Dex. With Dex, you will receive this tin style packaging and inside of it, you will get your Dex gimmick, which is a 52 card single pocket index and the fastest of its kind. Typically with card indexes, you will have to sacrifice a lot, whether it's that the index is extremely bulky, it won't work with all pocket sizes, it requires two pockets, or that the average index time required to retrieve one card is about 20 seconds at least. Uh, that this solves all of that. Dex is not very bulky. In fact, when it's filled, it's about the same thickness as an actual deck of cards. In addition, it's super fast and it only requires one pocket. And the th it looks like a wallet in your pocket, but it really is much more than that. If you're, someone is looking at your pocket and you have Dex in it, they'll just think you have a wallet in your po uh, pocket, but you really just have 52 decks. In fact, a deck of cards sticks out more in your pocket than the decks gimmicks. In addition to the index, you will receive a instructional card that takes you to the murphysmagic.com website where Lloyd and Javier teach you everything you need to know about decks, but we'll talk more about that later. Uh, the tutorial is streamable and downloadable. And you will have to provide your own deck of cards for decks, but you can use pretty much any deck of cards preferably those printed by the USPCC, such as bicycle cards. 
Now, what is the quality of the gimmick? When you open up the box and see the gimmick, you may think that it doesn't look great. However, this is absolutely not the case. The gimmick is precision made. It'll allow you to do miracles. And I believe it's handmade. It, it really is pretty durable. Uh, and I think if you use it properly, it should last a very long time. However, I do think eventually uh, the glue that holds the index together may split, but that likely won't happen for a very long time. Just don't do anything stupid. Don't try to bend it. Don't throw it on the floor. Don't scratch it to test how strong it is, because in that case, you will likely break your dex gimmick. Uh, however, you will likely want to store dex without any cards in it. Just to improve the longevity of the card. One thing that I found is that when I started using decks, some cards would actually stick in the index, but that is completely gone. It's just, it needs some working in. And once you've practiced this for a little bit, I'd say an hour, the cards will no longer stick in decks. Now, the index is very easy to use. And the great thing about it is that you will have to adjust the position of your thumb only once, if that. So you won't have to go up and down trying to find their card or their section. You only have to move your thumb once and then you're pretty much good to go. Now, Dex does not have a designated space for the aces. However, if you would like to, you can add the aces into Dex. I don't like to do it because I think it overcrowds Dex, but some people may prefer to do it that way. I personally just say, name any card, but not the aces, because that's too common, and everyone understands that, because if you're to ask a stranger a card, the most likely card they're going to name is the ace of spades, because it's the most powerful card in the deck. Uh, again, it is possible to have the aces, it's just, it takes away some of the space, however. Uh, one thing about decks is it won't work for all pocket sizes. Uh, I find that as a kid, a lot of uh, pants don't have huge pockets, which is fine. You don't need huge pockets to perform decks. You just need average sized pockets. Um, but I, when you have very tight pockets that are just the size of less, that barely fit a deck of cards, you will still be able to do decks, but it will be a very tight fit. However, I think it's very easy to find pants with big pockets, especially if you're an adult. Now, how is the tutorial for Dex? Oh boy, this tutorial is a six hour and a half long. It is taught by Javier Fuenmayer and Lloyd Barnes primarily, the creators of this effect. You can hear them very well. The audio is great. They go through how to set up the index with your own playing cards. They go through how to retrieve cards from the index, how to get each and every one, how to position them in your pocket how to get them into cop and transfer from cop to classic palm. Um, and Javier will demonstrate how everything works in your pocket by using a clear plastic bag as the pocket. Javier goes through all of the prototypes with Dex and it has came a very long way. It came, it started off as a really thick system and now it's so slim, it's more flexible and that's really Great. Uh, Lloyd and Javier teach the gambler's cop for left and right handed people. They teach a normal classic palm, lateral palm, and more. They even teach how to switch cards from cop. And Lloyd teaches a very incredible switching move called the scissor switch. That is the first two hours and 47 minutes of the tutorial. So in order to learn all of that information, you will have to sit through all of that, which is not a bad thing. It's incredible because the fact that tutorial is so long, you get expert tuition and you learn everything you need to know. That's volume one. one. In volume two, Javier and Lloyd will teach you a bunch of cool card tricks. They will teach you card to wallet. They will teach you um, an incredible version of in the invisible deck and a brainwave deck where the cards end blank and examinable. They teach you a crazy ambitious card trick. Uh, they teach you card to phone, card to wallet. Uh, they teach you a ton of tricks, even how to add inside the index 52 folded cards in order to do the routine I performed in the beginning. And that still takes up the same amount of space in the index. That's volume two. In volume two, in volume three, they will teach a bunch more tricks, including tricks with EDC by Craig Petty. They'll teach named 
card trick, such as using the name of a person you're performing the card trick on. They'll teach quiver wallet tricks. They'll they'll teach a ton of tricks. Uh, they teach even torn corner is held onto the audience, and they name any card, and that is the corner, and it matches. They teach so many tricks. Then they move on to volume four. Volume four begins with Andrew Niner, the creator of the Boombox, and he will be teaching some incredible routines. Uh, a couple of them are called Lucid and Color Match, and they're very, very good. I, I will definitely be experimenting with the Color Match idea. I think it's very smart, and I do plan on performing it in a stage show. After that, they go back to Lloyd and Javier, where they teach Jake Keen's idea. In volume five, uh, Lloyd and uh, Javier teach a, how to practice decks with a friend or a partner, a how to do decks. There's a practice session, and it's just a bunch of cool stuff. That is almost seven hours of tutorial. I know it's a crazy long tutorial. Now, what are the angles like? for decks. The angles for decks completely depend on the routine you're performing. For example, if you're doing the named folded card on the table, which I performed, you can be completely surrounded because all you have to do is be able to finger palm a folded card. However, for the routines such as the invisible deck or brainwave, or even uh, other things in the tutorial, you will have to have a card in cop. So you won't want people directly beside you or behind you. Uh, for some other routines, the angles are a lot better because the card is in classic palm. So you won't have to worry as much about people behind you or beside you. Lloyd and Javier, though, teach you everything you need to know with these moves and where to position your audience for the correct audience management. Are there any live performances in the tutorial? Yes, there are live performances in the tutorial. Is this examinable? For most of the routines, including the invisible deck, brainwave deck, ambitious card, card to empty pocket, uh, card to phone, card folded on table, card to spectator, wallet, everything is examinable. All the dirty stuff, including decks, is in your pocket, and it will never be seen by the audience. Now, let's talk about the difficulty and practicality of decks. How difficult is decks? Many of the effects with decks are easy to do. All you have to be able to do is palm a card and cop a card, but you will easily learn that in the tutorial. Uh, you will want to practice retrieving the card from decks as quick as possible, Time is not as important as the timing. You'll want to time perfectly when your hands come out of your pocket so you're not just going in and out, which you could do. Uh, with the exception of the aces, you can literally get any card, and you'll want to practice retrieving the cards for a long time. I'd suggest at least 30 minutes, but I've been practicing decks for at least six hours. And the thing is, you will want to not only practice retrieving the cards out of decks, but also the palming and the copying of the cards, because that makes it a lot easier if you're doing it in the mirror to see what angles the copped card would flash. Now, I don't think this is very difficult at all, but you will need some audience management. Not the fact, not because Everything isn't examinable. Everything is examinable. But you don't want people looking around trying to see the cop card. You want the proper misdirection. How practical is DEX? DEX is very practical and can be done very in a bunch of different atmospheres, including close-up, parlor, restaurant, or even stage. I do think DEX plays best in real-world situations, as over the screen, there is less natural misdirection, time misdirection, or need for you to even put your hands in your pocket. Whereas in real life, it's justified, because everyone has their hands in their pockets. And also, if you flash on screen, your spectators are more likely to see it than if you flash in person, because they might just think it's a speck of white in real life. Uh, it, even though it is very practical, you won't be able to do um, the m many different routines of decks at the same time. I'll explain what I mean. You'll be able to do the brainwave, a can, invisible deck, ambitious card, card to phone, card to wallet, and card to pocket. But you won't be able to do uh, card to table unless you modify all the cards, which is fine. But then you'll only be able to do co folded card to table at least at a time. Then you'll have to take out the modified cards and add a new deck of cards to decks in order to perform those effects. So that's the only issue I guess I could see. Uh, for example, you couldn't do the EDC routine card folded on table and brainwave effect all at 
once. Is there any DIY with decks? There is no DIY with decks, but you will want to provide your own decks of cards. I typically use bicycle cards, but pretty much any deck can work. Uh, I think USPCC printed cards work the best. There's no DIY though. You won't need to glue anything. You won't need to uh, um, repair parts. You won't need to do any of that. However, if you want to do the folded card to table, you will need to modify all 52 cards that you're putting into the index. And once you do that, you will only be able to do this effect with decks until you switch out new cards into decks. But I do think this is strong enough to do as a standalone effect. It's really, really powerful. Now, what is the pocket space like? You will need to carry decks in your pocket. It is about the thickness of one deck of cards, a normal deck, and it is the size of a standard wallet. This should fit in most pockets, but you will need to carry around the whole index in one pocket in order to do the tricks. It's not just one trick. However, it's not a one trick pony. You can do a ton of tricks, including brainwave, ambitious card, a can card, phone card, wallet, and more. So you're not just carrying around the index to do one trick. You can also use it as a get out of jail card, one card to pocket, but you won't want to produce the named card from the same pocket Dex is in. You'll want to palm it and transfer it to another pocket and pull it out of that pocket. Uh, but if you ever carry a brainwave deck, you don't need to anymore. You can just carry decks around and a normal deck of cards and you can do the exact same effect and everything's examinable. Now, what is the reset like for decks? You will need to put all the cards together in the decks gimmick before performing a bunch of decks tricks. But when retrieving the cards, you will not have to reset decks every time as long as you're keeping track of which cards you've taken out of decks. After about four or five uses of decks, you won't want to chance it anymore and you'll likely want to reset, uh, which is really quick. You will have to take the decks gimmick out of your pocket and put the cards back in their designated positions in the decks gimmick and you'll want to do it in private because you don't want your spectators to see decks. Now, let's see if the trailer and ad copy are honest. Uh, that trailer is completely honest. Now I'm going to read a bit of the ad copy. The time it took you to read that sentence, follow the instruction and lock a card is in is genuinely longer than it takes you to find any card in Dex, really. Created by Lloyd Barnes and Javier Fuenmayer, Dex has been painstakingly designed and refined for over two years. Apologies to the tens of thousands of people that have been following Dex production journey on YouTube for that whole time. And together they've left no stone unturned. From its durable nature, clever touches that give Dex its wallet silhouette form factor, flexibility, thin nature, and even lightweight construction. Every single Dex unit is meticulously assembled by hand and is constructed using a range of different materials that all seamlessly blend together to give you the world's most powerful and more importantly, practical playing card index we ever have seen. I, that's all I'm going to read from the ad copy because it is four pages long. You can check it out. I read it off screen. It is completely honest. Now, let's talk about the price of Dex. Dex currently retails on Penguin Magic and all Murphy's Magic dealers uh, for 75 US dollars. Do I think this is worth it? Honestly, yes. I plan on doing at least four tricks with decks every time I perform. That equates to less than $20 per trick if you're counting it per trick. In fact, I definitely will pick up a second decks so that I can do all the main tricks for decks and all of the, the and do the mercury card folded trick because it is so powerful just to have the ability to give your spectator a card have them hold on to it with their dear life have them name any card and unfold it and show it's their name card that honestly is one of the best tricks in magic and i'm not just saying that because 
I love decks, even though I do. It's really, it's been around for so long. There's so many boxes, such as the Destination Box, I believe, Vision Box 2.0 by Zhao Miranda, uh, Crystal, uh, a Crystal Clear Box. I don't remember the name by David Regal. Um, th there's so many effects that have been trying and trying to get this effect perfect. But to be honest, using an index to get the card named folded up on the table, that is the best way to do a card to impossible location because it not even deck of cards is involved. You just take out one card, ask them to name a card, and that is it. So this is definitely worth the price. And it's such an incredibly fast index. Now, what are the pros and cons? The pros are the price. It's well made. It's very fast. You don't have to be able to retrieve the card extremely fast if you don't want to. It's a one pocket index. It's very thin compared to other ones. It's very fast. The tutorial's great. This it doesn't require too much pocket space. It's very practical. It's not too difficult. It's the same thickness as a deck of cards. It's a utility device. It's genius. The cons, the only ones I can think of are that it may not always have perfect angles for all the effects uh, other than maybe this. This is the best angles out of all the deck tricks that are taught in the tutorial and that this may not last forever. I think it'll last a long time, but I don't know if it'll last forever. What percent do I give Dex? I'm giving Dex a 98%. It's absolutely brilliant, and I highly recommend it to anyone who likes the Brainwave deck, Invisible deck, Card to Impossible Location, Named Card to Table, A Cans, Ambitious Card Tricks, Card to Wallet, or Magic Tricks in general. It's so fast, and so many tricks can be done with it. This replaces, for me, almost every Card to Wallet because you can borrow their wallet and have a named card appear in it. That is insane. You know what? I'm bumping up my score. This deserves 100%. It is the, just to think about this.